The LC circuit shown in the picture contains a 74 millihenry inductor and a 1.4 nanofarad capacitor. The circuit oscillates with a maximum current of 0.78 amps. For maximum current, I'm using capital I. The first question is, what is the maximum charge on the capacitor? And for that, I'm going to use uh, capital Q. To answer this question, let's use the energy conservation idea. The maximum energy stored in the inductor is equal to the maximum energy stored in the capacitor. Therefore, L times capital I squared divided by 2 is equal to capital Q squared divided by 2 times C. Let's rearrange this equation and isolate Q. After some algebra, we get Q equals I times square root of LC. And when we do the numerical substitution, we get Q equals 7.9 times 10 to negative 6 Coulomb or 7.9 microcoulomb. The next question is what is the oscillation frequency of this LC circuit? The angular frequency of the circuit is equal to 1 over square root of L times C. It depends on the physical properties of the circuit. And frequency is angular frequency divided by 2 pi. When we combine the two formulas, we get frequency equals 1 over 2 pi square root of LC. Here's the numerical result. The oscillation frequency of the circuit is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the 4 hertz. What does it mean? It means that the circuit completes 16,000 oscillations in a given second. And remember, each oscillation means the capacitor will discharge and then it will get charged. It will discharge again with the current in the opposite direction and it will uh, get charged again with the opposite polarity. That's one complete oscillation. The last question is what is the energy stored in the inductor at t equals 2.2 milliseconds given that at t equals 0 the capacitor was fully charged. Let's just apply the formula for the energy stored in the inductor uh, which is basically one half Li squared, I being the time dependent current. Of course in this circuit the current changes with time. And what's the formula for current? It's negative omega q times sine omega t, omega being the angular frequency of the circuit and capital Q being the uh, maximum charge stored in the capacitor. Let's first calculate the angular frequency and current. Angular frequency equals 1 over square root of LC and we get 9.8 times 10 to the fourth radians per second. The formula for the current is negative omega q sine omega t. When we plug in the numbers, we get negative 0.71 amps for the current at t equals 2.2 milliseconds. Going back to the energy equation and substituting the numerical values, we get 0.019 joules of energy stored in the inductor at t equals 2.2 milliseconds.